Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Misfits Racing League Circuit Guide series. This week we are around the iconic Interlagos circuit for round 21 of the MRL Season 3 Championship. So, without further ado, let's head down to the track. So here we are on the track, here at the wonderful circuit, uh, the autodromo Jose Carlos Pache, here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, for the penultimate round of MRL Season 3 action. So turn one, nice and straightforward, you want to be braking right as you come across the 50 meter board. Some drivers like to use the green AstroTurf on the right hand side, it's completely up to you. It allows you to open up turn one a little bit more, uh, but it also forces you to turn a little bit more while uh, heavy on the brakes in this, uh, what can be challenging braking zone. So turn one, keeping the car as nice and straight as you can, all the way down into third gear, just try and get some extra rotation with the gearbox. Careful to, uh, when touching the uh, inside curb, it can unsettle the car, uh, but it also allows you to open up the exit, uh, or the entry for turns two and three, which is what this first corner is all about. So nice and smooth on the steering, use all the curb that you can, uh, foot flat to the floor through turns two and three. Turn three, just hugging this left hand side all the way to the DRS line. And just keeping the car in as much of a straight line as you can. Heading into sector two of the lap. So as we approach sector two, turn number four, this 90 degree left hander. You want to be braking as this concrete strip uh, ends. It's a good reference for you. Coming down through the gears into fourth gear, just trying to get some rotation. Again, attack this uh, apex curbing. Let the car drift out wide onto the green asphalt turf, but careful not to extend as you make your way through turn five completely flat out. It's all about keeping the car nice and tidy. And then through the double apex right handers of turn, uh, or turns six and seven, going uphill, completely blind apex turn seven, you cannot see it. Uh, you're coming up the hill, 8th gear, at the 50 meter board, just a little dab on the brakes, and you want to just really aggressively turn the car into the right, you can shift down to 6th gear to help get some extra rotation, and then you want to be on the power as soon as you can, without missing the apex of turn 7, and then well, as soon as the car is straight, using this uh, ripple strip on the left hand side, you're going to be braking for turn number 8. It's very very hard braking zone to spot since you're coming in at such speed so it's all based on muscle memory up at this part of the track but hopefully you've survived that and you make your way into turn eight turn eight second gear uh you can short shift a third on the apex just to uh help prevent the wheel spin and the rear from snapping out and then you're immediately down to second gear again for this long long left hand of turn nine double up shift into fourth uh, careful of the rear snapping out on the exit, coming through turn 10, and then you're going to be braking for turn number 11, which is also known, what I like to know as the duckbill, because I believe that's the direct translation from Portuguese for this corner name, the duckbill. So turn 11, another uh, fairly challenging corner, going down from the gears down to second or third gear, it's really up to you. But what's more important here is that you nail the apex and don't run too wide. It's tighter than you think. So you're coming through a short shift out of that and then through this flat out section here until we make our way into the final proper corner of the lap. And for this one, you want to be breaking around 75, 70 ish meters uh, just between the two uh, breaking marker boards. And you actually want to get onto this. Uh, little grass bit here as much as you can just to open up the corner uh, well as much as you can and just be able to carry that extra speed through. It is very bumpy out here so it, uh, it can be a bit unsettling but if you just break in a straight line it should be okay. Nevertheless it's all about the exit here so compromise the entry, uh, careful taking the inside curb it can unsettle the car, let the car come out and then as we make our way through sector three, all these corners completely flat out and it's all about hugging this left hand side, keeping the car uh, nice and straight, very smooth on the steering, 
And that is the very, very quick and very, very short lap around this wonderful circuit. So as always, I'll now show you a hot lap at full speed. Uh, once again, provided my, my good buddy Fraser. Uh, so many thanks to him as we start to wrap up the series for the season. Don't worry, these guides will still be coming out next season, just maybe with a different format and focusing more on the league racing aspect. So be sure to look forward to that next year when MRL Season 4 begins mid-January. So as always, it's been Mikau and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. So that wraps up this week's circuit guide around the Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache. We hope you found it helpful. As always, here is the setup that was used for the hot lap, so feel free to give it a try for yourself. We'd love to know your times in the comments below. That's all from me, and we'll see you on Tuesday for some more Misfits Racing League action.